All right. <laughs> cool. Thank you, man. Um, can we talk a little bit about, and this seems like a perfect time considering that just materialized before our eyes. Can we talk a little bit about your um, renewed approach, your, your new approach to recording that may be a little bit less on the perfectionist side and a little bit more on the free form, let's just see where it all falls uh, sort of approach to recording? Oh, well, I feel like my brain's always been kind of split into two very different approaches. I've done a lot of improvised kind of beat making shows for years. Um, but I think when you make music in that way, you're making it in the moment, people are sharing it with you. Um, it's not meant to go back and like tinker with. There's something special about just like that nervous energy that turns into something and people experiencing that with you. Um, so I've, there's a side of me that's always been very free form with how I make music, but then in the studio, for some reason, I get really OCD about effects and synth sounds and all these different elements so I should have put out probably like 20 records by now just like live <laughs> albums or whatever taking stuff home and and just been real free with it but it's been the opposite in the past with albums early riser took me four years to make this album took me <laughs> about the same amount of time um but yeah touring with uh, the r plus r equals now band with Robert Glasper Christian Scott Terrace Martin Justin Tyson Derek Hodge um First off, when I got asked to be in the group, it was just a huge honor because those are like heroes of mine, um, people I look up to that I've also become friends with just through living in New York City and being in the scene. But we did a record last year, um, Ecologically Speaking, that we toured with. And that album we recorded in five days. And it was just like everyone came into the studio with like an idea or a little list of beats and we'd listen, we'd figure out the chord changes. And then the whole album is first takes. I don't think there's any, everything was like press record. The first few minutes would be like based off what we learned and then it would just go off into some outer space section that was totally free form. And it kind of made me realize that um, there's something special about capturing that moment and, and actually letting it live on. So for the last six months of this record, I. I still, to be honest, still have my little perfectionist tendencies, but I, I just learned to see the value in sharing exactly where you're at right now, regardless of where it is, which is, I think, an energy I needed since I'm singing on this record a lot. And uh, I've been a producer since early high school years and been touring and doing stuff around New York as a producer for so long that I'm really comfortable presenting myself that way. But like singing, I'm like presenting the baby version of myself, you know, it's like really brand new. So I think I, I just needed that sort of push to want to be in the moment and share where I'm at. And and I think when you have a positive energy about what you're doing, that also translates into the recording and live. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's a lot of what's fun about my job and getting to do these things is that they are very, that that every one of these performances is, is live stream. There's no such thing as, as overdubbing or going back. It's whatever whatever existed in that moment at, in time, you know, it's uh, and it's it's... Uh, a treat for me to see these things come together like this. Um, in terms of the of singing on this album, can you talk a little bit about why um, why hadn't you sung previously, and what, was there one particular um, event that that caused you to say yes, this is the album that where I'm gonna where I'm gonna present my voice on it, or what, or is it just a logical evolution? Um, I, I always wanted to do an album where I like do everything. It's <laughs> ever since I was uh, in like eighth grade when I first started doing music. I was always into the early Stevie stuff where he was playing all the instruments and then also the same with Prince and um, Prince tape is right there in blue, oh yeah. right about eye level. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Stevie tape here as well, but it's not in this room. Okay. So I'm, I'm in good company in this yeah, room. Yeah. Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan is right there, but the, the you're, just Stevie you're talking about is in the other room. <laughs> it, you know, it was more about fulfilling a dream um, in terms of just seeing, I wanted to know what that would feel like. Um, it's definitely a natural evolution. It, it seemed like the scariest thing I could do, which in a way was, felt like that's the, I should head towards what freaks me out. And if I'm gonna learn a lot this year with touring, um, I think I'm gonna get a lot better. And I think that day-to-day -day improvement when you, you feel yourself getting better is gonna remind me what it was like when I started making beats. Um, and once you get that momentum, then you gotta get addicted to it. I think I just I waited too long in the past to get into it because you know you get nervous to 
to share and then you get so in your head that you're, you're like you build up this big thing where in reality people either don't care or they'll gravitate to you if they dig it or you know even if it sucks like people are gonna forget in like a week these days so yeah, it's like yeah you might as well just put out music and um and build the momentum cool and there's plenty of opportunities for you to to hone it on the road and you're playing you just uh, played with kamasi washington last night in jersey um, there's a Hollywood Bowl show with R plus R equals now uh, August 21st. And for Herbie Hancock. So. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, good for you. Yeah, it'll be a fun night. And then the Moroccan, a couple of night, or no, the Moroccan's happening September 25th. And then the Monterey Jazz Fest a couple of days later. That should be a ton of fun. Have you played Monterey before? I've been there once um, to see my dad play, and it was amazing, but I've never played. Cool. Well, dude, enjoy that one. And then you're back here in New York, um, Rough Trade, uh, in Brooklyn on October 16th. So there's, there's, and there's a number of, number of dates. Um, they're all up at taylormcfarren.com. And um, so where, where are we going from here? Do you want to do another improv one, or do you want to go straight into one from uh, Love's Last Chance? I'll do, yeah, I'll do a song from Love's Last Chance. This song just came out... Um, last friday uh the only other vocalist on the record is anna wise who's uh yeah she's gonna maybe come in here in like really? uh, two or three weeks or something yeah we're talking talking to her right now yeah no that'd be perfect i know she just dropped a song for her new solo project called uh the song was called what's up with you that just came out like the week before the song i'm about to sing with her came out so it was kind of perfect timing we had no coordination with that but um she helped me a lot on this record. I was working out of a studio called White Lines that uh, Omas Keith uh, runs in LA. He had a studio, uh, Anderson Pack was in the one of the rooms, Omas was in the other room. Uh, I was in like the the small room with um, Jeff Gittleman, who's from uh, Step Kids and also an amazing producer. Producer He just produced her his last EP. Um, and Anna came through when I was really struggling with the singing stuff, and this song came out of us so easily that it kind of, I think, opened the door for me to to have some confidence to, to finish the record. So, yeah. Uh, she's just on the track, so you'll hear her voice even though she's not here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this next song will be uh, Memory Digital featuring Anna Wise. Cool. You feel like, are you going to stand up for this one, you think? I guess. Let me, yeah, let me do a camera thing. Let me see if this Sorry, I've had it really quiet. <laughs> Yeah. 
Dude, thanks for coming and doing this, man. We appreciate it very much. And uh, travel safe, man. There's a lot of dates coming up. There's uh, Hollywood Bowl, August 21st, Moroccan Lounge, September 25th. Um, so there's not too much travel between that show and that show. But then uh, Monterey Jazz, September 27th, back here in New York for Rough Trade on October 16th. It's all up at taylormcfarren.com. And, man, best of luck on um, <clears throat> on love's last chance it comes out two weeks from today and uh thanks for doing it man catch your flight oh thank you man hopefully i'll come back uh with marcus gilmore on the drums next time i see we've got the drum kit here with no drummer <laughs> yeah man please do we'll be we'll be here man next time it makes sense for you let us know we'll be right, here cool. doing this all right thank you man all right peace